Oh, you coming to help, buddy? All right, go take him out. Knife him down. You, it's like this. You have to do it like this, dude. There, just like that. Welcome back, everybody, to 79 Alpha 21. .1 build 16. We are now on that stable version of the game. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to pick up where we left off in the last episode. Uh, the plan for this episode is just to knock out as many tier one quests as we can for Hugh and uh, get into tier two. I'm probably going to do something similar to that also with um, uh, Trader Jen and Trader Joel and maybe even Bob as well. We'll, we'll see. Uh, so we are here at the abandoned Shady Shed Farms. I have actually done this uh, POI multiple times. I just didn't recognize the name of it. Uh, so let's just run through and get it knocked out as quickly as possible. The name of the game here is just to get through uh, the tiers, uh, but also with as, as much as we can anyway, uh, doing... Did he just drop a bag? What was that cha-ching sound I just heard? I don't know. Um... But also, you know, if where possible, uh, do quests uh, or POIs that we haven't done yet, you know, regardless of what tier it is. So, yeah. All right. Cool. So that takes care of that. I'm not going to be too terribly concerned with any uh, major looting. Of course, we'll, we'll definitely get the end loot. But, you know, real basic stuff I'm just not too interested in because we just don't need anything. We've got all kinds of shit now. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give the club a good run for its money here. Nice. Did we did we kill him? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. You want a little action too, huh? I have to I have to really pay attention to the crosshair with this because it it seems it seems a little lower than then um you know where the where the club is swinging so i notice that if i don't pay attention to the crosshair then i'm not actually hitting them in the head all of the time that's just you know me getting used to how the weapon works is all okay. since we're here we might as well check that okay this is where all the rest of the baddies are Oh man, I hate when they do that stupid crawling thing. We actually ran out of stamina on that, and we got the shit kicked out of it. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. We'll take uh, one of these for the abrasion. We'll take one of these for the infection, uh, honey. And we also need a vitamin for the fatigue. But in terms of our overall health, though, we are really damn tough. Didn't actually hurt us too much. There's our courier satchel. Grab that. Uh, we'll see what's in here. Little, uh, oh, now, look at that. Damn. We'll have to compare that to the one we have back at the base. Oh, wait a minute. What am I saying? It's not back at the base. I've got it right here. Um, this one is not as good. Wow, it's like... 17.3 less damage than the one we have. So, okay, well, there you have it. That's a pretty significant difference. We'll read those two. Well, we'll read all of them, actually. Very good. Okay, so, yeah, we'll just end up selling that crossbow then. And I'll see you guys back at the trader. He did drop a bag. It just was, was not showing up on my screen. How interesting. Okay. Your way. You must think you're pretty hot shit now. Okay. Well, you did it. So um, I th much. think I suppose we could learn this. Why not? Even though we are, we may not ever use. Well, no, we do use this, but I already have one, I think. And I guess uh, the magazine skill. I got like super tons of stacks. Super tons? What the hell am I saying? I have lots of stacks of pipe bombs. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's grab these. Uh, take your next job. If this take is a number. fetch at and, uh, yeah, we've done deracinated domicile. Chicken. We'll do it if um. <laughs> that's funny. We'll do it if uh you know there isn't anything new. Oh shit, the rest of these are buried supplies. I mean we can do those too, I suppose, but those are kind of boring. All right, well let's let's go ahead and do deracinated domicile. However the hell you pronounce that. Let's open this up. 
Okay, we got uh, two rifles, two spears, and two knippies. Uh, let's also read that. And okay, I'll see you guys over at Durasa Nated, I think. Mated, mated, domicile. Okay, um, let me move this out a little more because I think a cop car will respawn here. And I've actually already looted this place when I did that uh, big salvage session a few episodes ago. I don't think there's really anything here to loot. At least not on the outside, so yeah, let's just start it. Let me check this real quick. Oh, I forgot to do the mailbox. Okay. We still need that uh, mineral water magazine. Okay, cool. So we'll check the semi-truck vehicles. We like that. Absolutely. Um, let's unlock this guy. Okay. Decent stuff. Um, I did, by the way, I did peruse the patch notes uh, for this build, too. Nothing real major that jumped out at me. Just, you know, changes and fixes and the usual kind of stuff. Didn't see anything that I disliked, but I also didn't see anything that I'm going to write home to a mother about. So, there you have it. Okay, um, are you just an outside Zeke? Well, you're a dead outside Zeke now. Let's check this. What's that? Uh, oh, sledgehammer. Okay, good. Yeah, we, we're we very low on sledgehammer crafting skill. Is there anything in here? Nope. Let's check this for honey. Oh, something else I discovered. You guys remember a few episodes ago, I think it was. Um, I was saying it's too bad the game doesn't show us a border on how far you can go before you fail the quest. Well, it actually does. Um, so if you just, just keep walking away, um, it eventually will show up. Yeah, right there. The, th the thing about this, though, is that if you're going fast, if you're running, um, you're going to run through this before you even realize it's there. So it does show a border, which is great. But uh, I think it should appear a little sooner than it does. But at least it's there, which is cool. If any of you left any comments to that effect, I haven't I haven't seen your comments. I'm I'm over a month ahead of you guys on these recordings now. It uh, it's August 11th as I'm recording this. You guys won't even see this till sometime in early September. Um, we're just having that much fun with the game, man. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and hop in here. And just get this knocked out as quickly as possible. I have done this POI a few times. I think, doesn't somebody jump down from the roof or something? Let's check the coffee. There you go. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to do, you know, the regular kitchen looting and stuff. We're just going to move through these. Yuck. A bowl full of brains. Okay. Maybe we'll check the toilet for water, of course. Nothing in here. Handyland book. Okay, he did. Handyland's really not useful to us, though, because we already have a purple nail gun. Isn't there a bunch of Zeeks that come through there or something? I don't remember. You dead, Darlene. Nobody in there. I'll read that. Some medical. Hawaii 5 0. And Hawaii 5 0, skinny brother. Oh, nice. Uh, we were just talking about that yesterday, and we have seven skill points. What the hell? We'll learn that. We're never going to make it, but we'll learn it. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm... Um, I'm digging the... Oh, nice. Look at all that stuff. 
I'm digging the uh, the club, actually. I still don't think it's as good as the sledgehammer, but it's not bad. It's way better than the than the knife and the the knuckles were for these in-game zombos. Anyway, if nothing else, so it's kind of fun. I'm still oh shit, we're still probably gonna uh, do sledgehammers though once we get a hold of them because. It's just, in my opinion, the ultimate melee weapon in this game, especially for in the game. But uh, the club is not bad. Definitely, we'll throw that out there, and we'll enjoy using it until we do come across a good sledgehammer. There's another vehicle. Okay, uh, we need to make some room. So we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need those. We don't even really need those. I've got several stacks of bullets. I think I'm going to chuck that. We're not really making a uh, hobo stew, and we've got... I, I have I have yet to fill up all my current crop plots, so we're just going to toss that too. And I think everything else I'd like to hang on to. Okay. And that up. And we're done. Yeah, this was just a retrieve, so we didn't have to do anything more. Yeah, I'm not taking that stuff. Okay, let's go head on back. I forgot to look in these two buildings. I know there's a dog in the in the one place. Oh shit, I didn't want to pick that stuff up. We'll check coffee. Let's go kill the dogs because we need to on principle, plus I think there's something in here to loot. Uh, yeah, I want coffee beans. Don't care about that, 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 that. And we'll take those. Okay, see you back at the trader. I never would have guessed you'd pull through. Okay, I'm just going to say probably the Molotovs and... I mean, we really don't need any more 9 mil ammo. Let's take the structural brace. Because, oh, actually, hold on now. We could use this because we're probably going to eventually use the turret. So let's actually do take that. Okay, so it looks like we have to do another one. I guess it'll be a buried supplies. The closest one is this one right here. Do some we'll just do it so we can get finished with tier one with Hugh here. Oh, you coming to help, buddy? All right, go take him out. Knife him down. You, it's like this. You have to do it like this, dude. There. Just like that. Oh, you're going to go take on Harley Quinn now, huh? Harley Quinn and a mountain lion. Oh, no. I failed the... I failed the buried, buried treasure. All right, well, can we at least find it to uh, to get the food and stuff out of it? Ooh, that's pretty good stuff. Actually, that's all really good stuff. Are we thirsty? Not really. Let's hold off on that. Harley Quinn, it's your fault that we failed this quest. Oh. Oh, she's using a, a pipe rifle. I didn't know she dropped loot. I don't remember seeing that before, but he's chasing after the mountain lion. All right, well, let's go back and get the another buried crest. I, I screwed that one up, but no big deal. Oh, no, it's it's nighttime. I didn't even realize it was that late. Shit. Okay, I'm going to go back to the base, put stuff away, probably actually work on the base. There's a lot of stuff we need to do on the base. I've been so busy, you know, of course, working on the horde base that I haven't done anything at the home base. So I'll probably just do some stuff around there at nighttime. Uh, when morning comes, I'll meet you guys back here at the trader and we'll just keep knocking out these tier ones and hopefully get into some tier twos. All right, guys, it is uh, morning and I got a fair amount of stuff done around the base. Uh, so I wanted to show that to you before we take off again. So let's see, the first thing I did was I got uh, repaired this door, 
I put um, some stairs and a door in here and re repaired all of this. And here, there, there was a, a like a, a coffee table here, and I took that out and put uh, another one next to there just so we have a nice clear path running through here. There were some um, embers in here that I took out because they looked like shit. So we did that. And let's see, I fixed this door over here. That was all broken up. I, oh, and I fixed... Oh, shit, I forgot to do the rails over here. I fixed these rails over here, but I didn't do these. So let's do that real quick here. Nice. Okay, we got that done. I went around the entire uh, perimeter of the place and just repaired all of the damage that the zombies have done on the fence though that fence is going to come out anyways so we're going to put an actual wall in there and uh, then i spent some time uh, repairing the roof up here and i made some i made a bunch of paint so let's grab our paintbrush uh, oh we already have the paintbrush and then we're just going to do the uh, eyedropper thingamadoodle and we'll paint these up. Um, I guess those can stay there. And over here. And then likewise, I repaired the roof on the shop here. Uh, the thing, the one thing I still have not figured out is that these blocks here are iron. I don't know how to make those. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've looked in the recreated menu to see if I could find like an iron multi-shape kind of thing. And I just haven't been able to find it. So, oh, you know what we should be doing is we should be doing uh, paint all sides. So that way the underneath side also has the blue corrugated metal look to it. Okay, so that's all taken care of. Uh, let's quickly uh, do some painting here. Do we want... No, it doesn't look like we want the inside to be this adobe look. That actually looks worse than the just the raw wood. Let's go ahead and grab this texture picker. And I think what I'll actually do is... I think that's supposed to be more like an internal, or an interior rather, look. But we'll just do it that way. Okay, and then we'll go back to here, and we'll just paint those two with the Wayne's coating there, and that looks pretty good. Um, again, with the floor, I guess just to keep everything looking the same, we'll just put the shoddy-looking black paint back on there. Does anybody know, I haven't really looked closely myself, but does anybody know if anyone's created a mod for this game where you can make nice-looking builds with nice paint and, and not all run down and shoddy looking. Um, if you know of something like that, let me know in the comments because I would really like to, you know, um, have access to something like that. All right. So, yeah, I think that's all we're going to do for now. Uh, at some point, I'll, I'll come in here and I'll, you know, change out all these broken cupboards and make things look good in here. But, I mean, it's looking... A lot better. It, it, it's it's worn out looking, but at least it's clean and repaired. So, uh, you know, in spite of what I just said, definitely appropriate for uh, for the apocalypse. Okay, let's put all this stuff away. Oh, for goodness sakes! I just repaired everything, and then put all my ma repair materials away. Stupid zombies! Steve, get the hell out of here! All right, guys, I'm going to put this stuff away, and I will meet you at our next... Uh, well, no, actually, we got to go back to the trader, and um, hopefully I'll have some new tier ones so we don't have to do another stupid buried supplies. I, I mean, they're okay, but they're just kind of boring, you know. 
That's what I see you over there. Are you, are you, are you gonna, gonna purchase something? <laughs> That's just funny. Uh, okay, jobs. He's got a fetch I have a little at Moe's Grocery. For you. Didn't Interested? we? We just did that, didn't we? Or maybe we didn't. I don't know. Well, let's Great. just take it. If Hopefully this will be the last tier one we have to do from Hugh, and then we can graduate to level two or tier two. Okay, is there a mailbox here? I'm not seeing one. That's not lootable. Okay, let's just do this. We'll take that. Oh, we'll take that. Stuck. There we go. Yeah. I don't see anything else in here. Cold? Really? Are you shitting me? Um, fortitude. We've got three points and well insulated, and we're wearing a puffer coat, and we're cold. Wow, it must be like super cold outside. Uh, but we can we can never get red cold. We can only get uh, orange cold, which is still not the best because we consume more food and water and stuff. But not a big deal. That's it for in here. Let's go in here. Uh, I do want the corn seed. And. Uh, took a little while. What's that? That's a uh, corn meal. We'll take that too. Don't think there's anything up there we care about. Get out of here, Edgar. Get the hell out of here. I know. I said I wasn't going to loot everything, but I can't help myself. <laughs> we'll just do it really fast. We'll take everything we can take and then we'll throw out the crap later. And yeah, we got another skill point. There's some books. What is that? Shotguns? Yep. Nice. Alright, I think that's it for here. Is this a... This is a, a supplies. Okay. There they are right there. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy. We'll read that. And we got a bad guy right here. Okay, um, grab this, nothing else out here that we want, there's the bat loots and we get ourselves a silencer, that's pretty nice. Gas and gas, handy land, and some meds, and I think that is it. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the trader. I sure doubted it, but you pulled it off. Okay, let's take the magazine bundle and the molotovs. 
And we still have to do another job. Okay, we got to clear here. There's this complex. Uh, let's. Oh, it's yeah. the passing gas. Let's just do it quick. I mean, we'll be able to knock that thing out in the blink of an eye. Okay, here we go. Wake up, little Susie. You too, little Susie. Uh, loot. There you go. Grab this. Grab this. Grab this. That. 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 This. And we need to get to the... Uh, oh. There we go. Nice. Got a little confused about where we went there for a second. We must have jumped up on top of the this. Okay. And we're done. Let's get the loots and go back to the turn in. Hey, we got a purple stun baton. So, another thing about the stun baton is that a couple episodes ago, I made the comment that I had watched other YouTubers use it and it wasn't that good. But apparently, I guess if you if you get headshots, uh, it's a lot more effective. And I know that's a very obvious statement, but um, the 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 person that was using it that I watched wasn't really doing headshots. So we might give that a try just for the hell of it. There's no reason not to. We got points to you know points to burn. So. Um, I guess if we're hanging on to that, we might as well hang on to it. All right, see you guys back at the uh, trader. You smell of the dead. Okay, I'm gonna take the Molotovs and the crafting skill bundle. Ah, oh, nice, we're finally done. Okay, uh, we're gonna take the water filter so I can set up a couple more dew collectors and oh boy, scrap armor, ranged mods. Ammo crafting. It's a, it's a crap shoot. It really is. Um, let's take the range mods. All right. Special jobs. You need work. Trader wrecked. Well, okay. And then, uh, so we can't do any more jobs for him today. Well, we can do tier one. What is this place? In a gig. Malone residence. I'm pretty damn sure we've done the Malone residence before. So. All right, guys. Um, I'm not entirely sure where we are on our time. Um, so I think I will... Hell, let's just buy all of this stuff. Uh, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. And um, I'm going to buy one of those, too. Not entirely sure what we'll do to start the next episode. Uh, we might continue doing some tier twos for Hugh for another episode, but kind of the next thing on my list to do is to get um, the army base set up, you know, for our role playing that we've been doing. So, you know, get the CC set up for Alpha 6. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using the NPC. So we're going to have like a little fire team that's going to follow me around and help just for fun um i don't need them of course but and i think what i'll probably do too is if we do a new tier five or tier six that i haven't done before i'll do that solo the first time uh but if we end up doing woo, look at that airtime nice if we end up doing um uh, you know, the, the same tier five or tier six over again a second time, then I'll take the fire team with me. But the first time I go through it, I'll do it solo, just, you know, so it's all legit. And plus, you know, I just, I like the challenge anyways. Uh, but for anything less than a tier five that we might do, even if we'd like just to go do some random uh, POIs and stuff, uh, we'll take the fire team with us. Um, I don't know that I'll have them help me on Horde Night. Damn it. that shit off um i'll have to i'll have to think about that I, I don't need their help on horde night though either i mean you know you i've already pretty much shown you that we can kick the shit out of the horde with our new base even though i, I still gotta 
finish that too. That's on the list, but that's an off-camera thing. So we'll we'll just kind of see how it goes, and uh, go from there, and just have some fun with it. So. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.